Good morning children. Welcome back. Here I am with the next video of civics chapter number 6 understanding media. In our previous video we have discussed about the definition of media, types of media, personal media, mass media. We also discussed about the media and technology and media and money. Now let us discuss something more about media. Let us discuss about the interrelationship between media and democracy. Children, media and democracy are closely interrelated. Like media can deliver information when it has full freedom to do so. Isn't it? And the democracy, it can also prosper only when media develops or formulates a favorable opinion about it. So both of them are closely interrelated. Children, India is the largest democracy in the world and media plays a very important role in our country. Actually, the prosperity of democracy depends upon the participation of common public and the common public can participate only when they are aware of various issues that is happening in the country. And these issues are brought to the public by media. So actually, the media plays an important role in the prosperity of democracy. Media actually make us aware about social, political, economic and cultural things happening in our country. It reminds politicians about the incomplete promises which they have made during the time of election. And the news channel coverage during election time helps people to formulate opinion and to choose right candidate for the country. It actually pressurizes the politician to fulfill their promises which they have made during the time of election for winning and later on if they do not complete it, the, me the media, it pressurizes it to fulfill them. Now children look at these slides to understand the role of media in democracy in a better way. Children, writing a balanced report, however, depends on the media being independent. An independent media means that no one should control and influence its coverage of news. However, the reality is that media is far from independent. This is mainly because of two reasons. The first is the control that the government has on the media. This is called censorship. 
while the government does continue to censor films it does not really censor the media's coverage of news despite the absence of censorship by the government most newspaper nowadays still fail to provide a balanced story the reason for this are complicated persons who research the media have said that this happens because business houses control the media besides the above the media also tends to focus on a particular aspect of a story because they believe this makes the story interesting also if they want to increase public support for an issue they often do this by focusing only on one side of a story the media also plays an important role in deciding what stories to focus on and therefore decide on what is newsworthy by focusing on particular issues the media influences our thoughts feelings and actions and bring those issues to our attention due to the significant influence it plays in our lives and in shaping our thoughts it is commonly said that the media sets the agenda very recently the media drew our attention to alarming levels of pesticides in cola drinks they published reports that indicated the high level of pesticide and thus made us aware of the need to regularly monitor these colas according to the international quality and safety standards however there are several instances when the media fails to focus on issues that are significant in our lives for example drinking water is a major problem in the country every year thousands of people suffer and die because they do not get safe drinking water however we seldom find the media discussing this issue a well known indian journalist wrote of how the fashion week formed the front page headlines of all the newspaper while several slums were being demolished in mumbai the very same week and this was not even noticed as citizens of a democracy the media has a very important role to play in our lives because it is through the media that we hear about issues related to the working of the government the media decides what to focus on and in this way it sets the agenda the government can at times prevent the media from publishing a story and this is called censorship nowadays media's close relationship with business houses often means that a balanced report is difficult to come by given this it is important for us to be aware that the factual information that a news report provide is often not complete and can be one sided we therefore need to analyze the news by asking the following questions what is the information i am learning from this report what information is not being provided from whose point of view is the article being written whose point of view is being left out and why so children this is all about this topic we'll be coming soon with the next video on another topic till then goodbye and have a nice day